Thank you. You see, today is a special day. Crafted by Chukwu Kikabiyama himself. For my lovely brother, Prince Lutanna. And his beautiful dancer, Princess Sikora. I want us to toast to this wonderful union. For everlasting love between my brother, Prince Lutanna, and Princess Zikora. And let the earth be a witness to this. Let us lift our glasses up. Uh, um, please, um, I'm pressed. Please. And I can't, can't hold it any longer than this. I, 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 I need to go. Please, let me ease myself. No, you, you can go after this. No, no, no. Let, let me ease myself. I'll be back. I, I'm not done yet. One second. It's like he ate something that contains a lot of pepper, okay? He'll come back. Come on. Why that is your food? He will continue when he comes back. Hmm? Good. My daughter, I am sorry. I am sorry. And I'm begging on his behalf, my son's behalf, for what he has been doing to you. For all the stress he has been putting you through in this house. I am saying sorry. Please forgive him on my behalf. I know that my handicap situation is not even, it's not helping matters. Master, Please. Now. I don't like what you're doing. Why are you apologizing? Eh? Did you do anything wrong to me? Mama, it is not your fault. You have no blame in this. Moreover, I have already forgiven you. I, you forg go. I forgave him last night. Is you go. I have to. Hey, Dad. Mama, this is what love is all about. Thank you. Thank you. I love him so much. Thank you. <sighs> Which is why I've been thinking. Okay. As it is, it is only Brody Kenna that cares about us. He's the only one who comes around once in a while to ask how we are fairy. At least give us what he has once in a while and now he said he is re relocating to the city hey so hi but Ikenna Ikenna has been good though he has been so helpful to us so even before you came yes he has been there for us financially he has been supporting my son to get me drugs, if not for him, oh boy, I didn't know he got the ones in the wine. He's the one that has been buying it too. He's the one. <sighs> Mama, which is why I am thinking. Because we cannot fold our hands and wait for the day Chitachi will, 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 will change. We cannot be waiting for a day where, when he will wake up and become a changed person. I don't know how long we're going to wait for that. So I have decided. Since Ikenna, the only one who cares and who manages to come around to know how we're doing is relocating. And also, I forgot to tell you, he gave me 10,000 Naira. Hey. Yes. So uh, that 10,000 Naira, I want to start up a business with it. Uh, not big business. Hey man, uh, at least buy something, something I can hawk around and make some money so we can eat at least. Ma Mama, again. Hey. Mama, what is it now? Why are you crying again? Hey. Ha. Mama, what is it? You. You, the daughter of Chief Williams, will be seen on the streets, hawking in this condition. 
who does that? What will people say? Mama, what will Mama, they say? Mama, at this point, I don't care what people will say because if we die of hunger, people will still talk. Besides, Mama, I am part of this family. Whatever bothers this family bothers me too. Then what about the child? What about the child in your womb? What about her condition? How is this child going to survive the stress out there? Mama, How? If, Mama, if I don't do this, this same condition will befall my child. Because I need to eat for my child to eat. And if I can't eat, then my child will die. Mama, so I have to do this. I have to. See? Please just 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 let me do it. Chetachi! 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 What have I done to you? Chetachi! 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 Your Majesty, I beg to take my leave now. So soon? I thought you and Prince Lotanna are supposed to have good time together. Your Majesty, Lotanna blatantly insulted me in the presence of all the maids. Can you imagine? He told me he owes me no explanation, that he has to be candid with me. He did that? He went as far as telling me that he knows this arrangement was made by our fathers for us to be together, but he's not the right man for me. The earlier I get that, the better for me. He told me that this time is the time for his love. Your Majesty, sorry, when are you going to tell me that Lotana has another girl he's seen? Please, my princess, I'm so sorry about this. But trust me, I can fix that. Please, do not let my bosom friend Senator Ahamba, the King of Kings, to know about this. I will take care of this, I promise. Okay? My princess. It's fine, Your Majesty. Better try and fix it. Fix it. Definitely I will. I am fine now, my love. Yes, trust me. I know when I heard about it, I, I was... I am sorry. I'm sorry for jumping into a conclusion without hearing from you first. It will happen again. Yes. So tell me, how did it go? You see, I was right. I wasn't far from the truth. I knew her mission to the I knew her mission wasn't ordinary. Of course I trust you. I trust you with my whole heart. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, I, I will not cry again. I love you more. Bye. Sorry for disturbing you. We are really curious about something. Exactly. Who is that lady that just came in today? That's Princess Zikora, Senator Ahamba's daughter. Even the animals in the forest knows her. Then why do you ask what you have already known? Come on, Nurena. Stop being holier than thou. And you can't be more Catholic than the Pope. We are only asking to know the relationship she has with the royal household. Mm -hmm. Her father, Senator Ahamba, is our king's very good friend. Why are you like this? 
You are the one that served them drink. And even the food at a quiet time. Are you trying to tell us you never heard anything from the conversation? Um, whatever discussion that I'm not involved in is none of my business. And you know that. I was only appointed to serve them and not to eavesdrop on their conversation. So please spare me that. I'm very busy. Excuse me. I told you, but you never listened. There is no harm in trying. That again needs to be taught a lesson. So what are you plotting now? Don't worry. Hello. With what happened in the palace today, I'm now beginning to understand your worry. Mbanefo, the grey hair on my head are not artificial. Neither did they spring up out of hunger. Mba. You can imagine Prince Lotana telling his father, the king of this great kingdom, that he cannot come out to welcome Princess Zikora. I mean, disobeying the king's direct order means war and insubordination. <laughs> I bet you if the king does not control his temper, he might lead him into taking a rash decision which will not speak good of this kingdom. We will keep doing our best as elders of this kingdom. We'll try. Oh no. Before he became the king of this kingdom, mm. you both have been very good friends. That's true. Please, That's true. I beg of you, talk to him about his temperament. <laughs> we all know that our king gets angry easily. And Prince Lutana, his first son, inherited that from him. Mm. If the boat continues this way, <laughs> Uh, something strange, something bad might happen and which will not speak good of the kingdom. Sent for me, Father. Lothar, now what have you done? I am confused. How will you go against my command? Have you lost your mind? Your Majesty, I am still confused. What are you talking You do not play the game of pretense with me, boy. First, you refuse to come out to welcome your guest. Oh, your guest, Father. Your guest. Not mine. Cut me one more time and I will show you what kings do to their insubordinate subjects. Princess Zekora left here in a basket, courtesy of your stupidity and carelessness. Just pray, her heart still beats for you. Else, your action will be too late to regret. Dad, I have told you this before and I'm going to say it again for the upteenth time. You are not going to impose on me a woman that I don't want. I have a relationship with Kamsi. Kamsi is the woman for me. Now listen to me. Today should be the last day you will be mentioned the name of a nobody that has nothing to offer as a bride. That has nothing to offer? Dad, Kamsi suddenly has nothing to offer. Have you forgotten in a hurry how she came to my aid when I needed help? Where was your Zikora when I needed help? Have you suddenly forgotten, Father? Your Majesty, as you already know, uh, the full moon of Ogugu appears in two weeks. Eke Ogugu, to be precise. 
and where the elders in council have come to know if your choice of air apparel is still Prince Lieutenant or you have changed. <laughs> oh no. And um, elders of Anyobu. Once again, you're welcome. You see, before the ego lands to pick its prey, there has been a careful calculation in order to be precise so as not to miss. Your Majesty, you are very correct. <laughs> Um, as you all know, I have two sons in whom I am well pleased. <laughs> yes, in as much as um, Lotena is as stubborn as me, does not change the fact that he's my son. And I still love him. Coming back to your question, on the issue of um, air apparent to the throne of my ancestors. You will get the answer. And on that note, I'll tell you that my air apparent to the throne is uh, Udoka, what's the problem? Why are you knocking like that? I want to see His Royal Majesty. Do you have any appointment with His Majesty? It's very urgent and I need to see His Majesty right now. I'm sorry you cannot go in. His Majesty is having a meeting with his cabinet members. And you know what happens when anyone's entered there. Except from the royal family and the royal servants. Please, tell His Royal Majesty that his son, Prince Lutana, has an accident and he was rushed to the general hospital. Your Majesty, your wisdom is without comparison. <laughs> you see, we need someone who is strong enough to make a decision that will favor our people and stand by it. That's the kind of person we need. Yes. And uh, Prince Lotana will do that for us. <laughs> ah. Greetings, my king. What is it? Greetings, my elders. Udoka, son of late Iche Umima, just reported that Prince Lutana had an accident. What? What? And was rushed to the family hospital. My king. What? Where is my phone? Ah, 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 ah. This is not pleasant. At all. Hello? Dr. Franklin? Come see. Since I had this accident, you have been with me, by my side. I want you to go home, come see. I want you to go back to your mother. I also want you, I know it's going to be hard, but I need you to begin to get me out of your mind and out of your heart. Kamsi, since I came back home, the opticians have been doing their best to find a cornea donor. And the ones they have found so far are either too healthy or from a dead person. My father does not want to hear of that. He is looking for a living donor, which is almost a mission impossible. I don't know how long this will take, come see. I want you to live your life. I don't want you to marry a blind man. You're a good girl. You have your whole life ahead of you. And you deserve the best. I wish you a nice life, please. Take care of yourself. And take care of your mother.
why would this happen to the love of my life? Just why? <laughs> My king, I am so grateful to Oboko for the success of this surgery. You know, at first I was so scared when the doctor said it was a chance of 50-50. <laughs> but I told you that Oboko can never forget her own. Hmm. I told you. <laughs> but one thing I know for sure is that Oboko can never allow a blind man to rule this kingdom of hers. <laughs> You're right. I am glad and at the same time bothered. Bothered? Yes. What bothers you on this joyous day? <sighs> My king, have you forgotten what happened? Have you forgotten how the cornea came about? I believe he will understand. Yes. It wasn't our fault. You and I know our son and how he is. You know how he behaves. <laughs> Are you sure he's going to forgive us? But you equally know that it wasn't our decision. It was a critical moment and our hands were tied. <sighs> well, I think that if everything is explained to him, he will understand. Please, for now. Let's forget about that and celebrate the gods for restoring our son's sight. Of course, it calls for celebration. Hi. I never make mistake choosing you. You are the love of my life. You started. You started. <laughs> Why are you like this? Why are you holding a stick? What happened to your sight? Huh? My, my parents, how is your vision now? My vision is, is all right now. Why can't you see me? What is going on? She's the anonymous uh, cornea donor. We tried talking her out of it, but she insisted. And no one told me about it. Son, she made us swear never to let you know until the surgery is over and you're good. Why? 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 But my parents, I couldn't watch you wallow in pain. I couldn't stand you give up without a fight. I... I did what I did for love. Listen, if, if your sight is intact, I know I will see through you. You didn't have to do this. You didn't have to do this. You had no business losing your sight. Come see, this was not the plan. Don't do this, don't. Because this was not the plan. Why? Don't do this. Why did no one tell me about it? I will do everything that I can to ensure that you regain your sight. Do you understand? Do you can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Very well. <sighs> it's alright, baby. I got you. Okay. I got you. No one forced her to do what she did. That was her choice. 
Besides, I would have gotten a donor if she didn't volunteer. But she volunteered anyway. She gave herself. That girl gave her precious sight to make me happy. She gave her sight to make me complete, Father. And I'm never going to let her down, Father. I'm not going. Then get ready to take another woman, no matter what happens. Then get ready, because I am going to do everything but physically and spiritually possible to stop you from getting married to her. Do I take that to be a threat, Father? Of course, you know it's not a threat. Those are words of the king. And I believe you understand better than anyone else. What is going on here? Yes. If, he, if she did not say, uh, let's do it this way, yes. or advise us, yes. I would have. That is the right thing. How can somebody in his right senses start supporting Lutana? Because Lutana is uh, the first son of the king. I personally think Lutana is being a big man. Yes. That is it. You know, these people that their papa is rich, mm. they misbehave because they are not, they are not the ones making the money. Mm. Is that not teaching He He's still dressed in the royal uh, dress. Maybe he has not gotten home since then. Teaching Banefo. Ndewo. Oh, God. Since we've not gotten home, or have you? Uh, yes, I followed Anu to his house ah. and then stopped over to see Ogidi. Ah. Because his wife gave birth last night. Mm. Oh, good. <laughs> but if for this one you follow the note to his house, I hope all is well. Oh, Hunter, must there be problem before I go to Onowu's house? Besides, before he became the Onowu, we have been friends. And I also mentioned going to see Ogidi. But if you know the man, he came anywhere. Just don't be angry. My friend, eh? Daladoku. In other words, slip of a tongue, according to the Englishman. Hmm? What he meant to ask you is this. Is there anything that we should do, two of us? <laughs> something like what? Uh, anything. <laughs> well, maybe something that only the owner who knows. That, that we're supposed to, to know. know. All that, <laughs> that all of us are supposed to know it. Yes. Oh, God, and our hunter. Yes. <laughs> What makes you think I'm in a position to know what only you know we should know? Um, Mbanefo, before we met you here, we were on our way to Gidi's house. Mm -hmm. So let us proceed. Goodbye. Uh, let me head to my house. Uh -huh. uh, we'll see you some other time. Himself and Ondo, they are always getting into my skin. And they make me to get annoyed there. Eh? They are both birds of the same feather. They should flock together. That yeah, is what? it. Yes. Let's <laughs> go. Let's go. They should flock together. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. That's their way. Just as we are. <laughs> Just as we are. That's their way. <laughs> <laughs>